All right, guys, I got a little 9.5. I'm rude that the the float's not letting fuel go in the carburetor. I need to do a car clean on it. And uh, I'm going to do a quick little tutorial on how to take the carb apart on these little 9.5s and kind of show you all the steps and how to do it. All right, thank you. All right, guys, this is the 9.5 Johnson I'm talking about. It's old build. Uh, they're 9.5 Johnson old build made them. They're pretty popular for outboard engines. Take the cover on them. Okay. As you see, this is the car I'm talking about. Not much to it. So take this choke lever on. Just pop this choke lever on. Pull it out of here. Just like so. It just feeds the system right there. And then a lot of times you move the cable. That gives some heat up here. This one, this is auto speed. Or your fuel emulation. And this one's been gone. So I don't have to do that. If you have one, then you can pop it off right here. A bit more confidence you pop off, and then you can get that cable off there. And then you need to take these four, or take, is it four? One, two, three. Yeah, there's four flathead screws back there that we can take off. Take those off. And so we can step. Okay, to get access to this float, to pull it off, there's a pin right here. You just pull this pin out. And this float will come up. And then right here is your needle that you need to get to. You may have to take it over and bump it a few times and there, there's your needle. And then you want to look down in that port, make sure that port's good and clean. And then you need to check the, the tip of your needle. Let's see if I can't get it to focus. There it is. Make sure the tip of your needle looks pretty good. This one looks pretty decent. It was just stuck. But now we're going to take some carb clean. We're going to clean through that port right there. And we're going to clean through this port right here. All right, guys. I got my ports cleaned out. I sprayed car clean through here. Through this little port right here, right down there, through this port right here, and through here, and through right there. You want to clean every little port that you can on these carburetors. Okay, time now. Put your float back together. Start with putting your needle back in. Put it back in that port, like so. Take your float. It'll go one way. This tab right there always goes down toward the needle. Put it right there. Then you want to take your pin, slide back in the hole. Let's see if I can do this one handed. It goes right back through that carb. Just like so. Okay, now that you can see how this needle is supposed to be working, that's how your needle is supposed to work. When that float falls, that needle is supposed to fall out of there too. And that's what will cause it not to let fuel into the carburetor. Okay, now it's time to reinstall it. And this was that piece I was talking about earlier. You want to make sure that this little lever, I guess you would call it, Make sure it's all the way that way. And then you take your carburetor and your float will go down in this hole. You do not want to put pressure on that float when you put it in there. You will be as gentle as you can with it because you can bend it and get it out of whack. But now you can see that lever is behind there like it's supposed to be. And then you just put your screws back down 
four screws fuel line and we're close to having the carb done okay now i got my four screws on time to put the fuel line back on i'm gonna put the fuel line on motor quick turn over here fuel line is back on we got a fish to float or not to float the choke back through and it'll go right through this hole up here you go like so then you can grab it on the other side and it'll turn around where it's like it's supposed to and it'll just pop right back in this garment right here just like that now our carburetor is back together I don't think that was everything that was wrong with this motor, but that's what was on with the carburetor. Now we're going to check the spark on this motor. Okay guys, as you can see, I got it running pretty good. I had to do some adjustments on the carburetor, but that's what it was. That fuel needle was just topped up. I'm going to end this video here. Thank y'all.